dropping in second place as the best mainstream politics chatter for the year 2011 is second place winner or winners it's a tie again the winners are Callie Kittenator and Inyaku. I may have misspelled their names, but they know who they are. Callie Kittenator and Inyaku come in second place as the best mainstream politics chatters in 2011. The person who comes in number one doubles the second place winner's scores and gets more than both the second and third place winners. Who could that be? This person's got more points than all of the others combined. The chatter, who is indeed the best mainstream politics chatter for the year 2011, is Romans. Romans is indeed the best mainstream politics chatter for the year 2011. No, I'm not joking. Romans is the number one winner. Romans, sir, if you're there, would you like to say a couple of words? Give me one. Romans is number one as the best chatter in this room. Romans, go ahead, sir. Your mic. Yes, <clears throat> I want to thank uh, my manager and my sponsors, and uh, also to uh, Faxmo Demo and Cali Kitty and uh, Any Arku for being some good challenges, and thank Lord Vu and thank the room. And uh, with that, good Obama evening to you folks. Thank you. <laughs> Good Obama evening. Okay. Who welcome back Harvey? Harvey, where the hell did Harvey go? New York Law Cabin, you sit still, buddy, because we have no award for you. All right. Who? Well, not quite yet, but you'll get it, so just hold still. All right. Next category. Since we did who was the best chatter for the year 2011, we're going to ask the question, who is the worst mainstream politics chatter for the year 2011? For the year 2011. This is the interesting one. This comes as not a tie, meaning two people, this third place here is a tie among four people. Four people got the same number of votes. Are we ready to hear third place winners? For the worst chatters in 2011, they are G. Biggs, Kansas Senate Senator, Lively Oak and Texas Trucker. These are the third place winners as the worst chatters in mainstream politics for the year 2011. Coming in second place as the worst mainstream politics chatter for the year 2011 is Gizmo. Gizmo is the second place winner as the worst mainstream politics chatter for the year 2011. And coming in number one as the worst mainstream politics chatter for 2011 is Mother's Native. Mother's Native, you are indeed the worst. <laughs> you, 
Mother's honey, you are the worst, Jack. <laughs> I'm laughing because I never think of mothers being a bad chatter. But they they gave you the mothers, are you there? They give me one. When you win, that's number one. Just give me one. Tell me if you want to speak. Mothers. Mothers rocks. I love mothers. Mothers, give me one if you like to talk, dear. Mothers native, you are the winner as the worst chatter of mainstream politics year 2011. Mothers, are you there? Hello? Mothers. Mothers. Mothers must be at the casino. All right. Let's go with the... <laughs> oh, by the way, as an honorable mention... Guess who comes in as an honorable mention? Give me wings. Give me wings. One point shy of the four-way tie. <laughs> she would have been in third place, too. All right. Let's go with the next question. Which chatter in mainstream has the biggest ego? Which chatter in mainstream politics in chat has the biggest ego. Now, the winner is actually Lord Vu. Lord Vu was voted 47 times as the person with the biggest ego, you son of a bitches. But anyway, I'm disqualified, so I cannot win. All right, so you wasted your vote, you assholes. All right, okay. So, in coming in third place as the biggest ego in mainstream politics is... Michael's three, you are correct. It is Vic Ferrari. Vic Ferrari is the third place winner as the chatter with the biggest ego. Coming in second place as being the chatter with the biggest ego is, who do you think it is? Tell me, who do you all really think this is, who's the second place winner? I'll tell you. The second place winner as the person with the biggest Ego is Roisy Winch. Roisy Winch is the second place winner with the chat being the chatter with the biggest ego. Roisy Winch. The person who comes in number one as the chatter with the biggest ego. Who do you think it is? The realist is correct. It is G. Biggs. G. Biggs, you are the chatter with the biggest ego in mainstream. G. Biggs, sir, would you like to say a few words? You're mic. Well, I'd just like to say that I, I worked extra hard this year and well, I can see that hard work has paid off, and, well, I do appreciate it, folks. You see, when you work as hard as I do, well, you generally do win something, and why shouldn't I win Biggest Ego? I have the most money. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> she thinks it's something like, I don't know why you all just like G. Biggs. He doesn't bother me. See, when G. Biggs says things like that, that just gets under people's skin, but it's just... <laughs> Probably because I have an ego problem, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Shit, you should think highly of himself. You go, G. Biggs. Yeah. G. Biggs, you go. You think high of yourself. Absolutely. That's right. Shit. The hell with these people. All right. Which chatter is the biggest brown noser? Which chatter is the biggest brown nosey in mainstream politics? Hmm? Who do you think that would go to? Let's go with third place. Third place winner as the chatter with the being the biggest brown noser is Mitsuk. Mitsuk is indeed the third place winner 
as being the biggest brown noser. Coming in second place is... Mother's Native. Mother's Native is the second place winner as being the chatter who's the biggest brown noser. The first place winner, Chatter, who's the biggest brown noser, blew all of his competitors out the water. The Chatter that wins the biggest brown noser award is... Oracle. Oracle wins with 50 votes as being the chatter who has the biggest brown noser. Oracle, I don't think you're a brown noser at all. I don't. I really don't. But, Oracle, you won the award, sir. Would you like to make uh, a few statements? Oracle, would you like to say a few things? Give me one, sir, or we shall move on. Did you all go walk out suddenly again? Yeah, 50 votes. That's shit. Good grief. Damn. That's a lot of votes. Oh, well. I guess he's not going to say a few things. He stepped out again. Did he? <laughs> Club is only sticking around for one award category. Club thinks he's funny, and he thinks he's slick, too. This old man. He wants to know who won the award as the biggest liar. That's the only thing Club wants to know. And we're going to make Club wait. Because we're going to the next category. Name one word that describes Democrats. One word. We didn't, we didn't allow synonyms. It had to be the exact word. Okay? One word that describes Democrats. Now, coming in fourth was a tie. I mean, coming in third was a tie. People rated Democrats is either at four, tie, four, tie, good and fucked. <laughs> good and fucked. Well, can you just say good and fucked? I mean, that's kind of ambiguous, isn't it? They're good and fucked. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 that one came in third place. That's how people describe them. Coming in second place, uh, people now. By the way, people could vote in this poll. They didn't have to be in this room. Anybody could vote anywhere on the internet. Okay. The second place word that people used to describe Democrats in one word was shit. Democrats, you're known as shit. Okay. This is <laughs> just shit, plain and simple. And um, the number one word that people have used to describe Democrats is weak. Weak. All right? Now, you probably wonder why I asked that question, because I think you Democrats probably should know that. That's how a lot of people think of you, just very weak people. All right? Now, let's go to the next category. Name one word that describes Republicans. One word that describes Republicans. Okay? Name one word. How would you describe Republicans?